Welcome to At The Table, where we are connecting entrepreneurs, discovering missions, and building communities with purpose, body, soul, mind, and business with Charlie and Heather with Women in Leadership. Hey, you guys, it is the first Monday of 2023, and we are really excited to be bringing you guys some really new material and exciting things for this year. I'm Uh, really jumping in right now and be like, hey, you guys. I was like, oh my gosh, she said that. I was totally distracted. Uh, uh, Okay. No, we're not. Right. Okay. So we're very excited about deciding on our books for the year Uh and just like really having a plan moving forward to what we want to share with you guys. Yes. So we've spent the last two weeks um, really honing in on our plan and our vision and what we would like to bring you guys this year. So we are going to start with The Secret Power of Yoga by Nishla Joy Devi. We have two different versions here. I have an older uh, version here and Heather's got the, the new and improved version um, both of which you can find on Amazon. Yes. And then one of the main differences we noticed was um, the the sutra of from the yoga, the uh-huh. yoga sutra, the yoga right, sutra. is um, in with the chapter instead of at the end of the book, right? Right. It's kind of so built it's in. like built a little different. So yeah. this one's just copy is just built a little different than that copy. Yeah. And so the, these this book is a little different than the path of the yoga sutras that we read last year. Um, and it's a different perspective, but it still teaches those core principles of yoga just in a, a different way. Right. And sometimes um, hearing things or learning things in a different way, you, it connects the pieces differently. And then also repetition. Right. So, so instead of just reading the same book over again, we thought we'd get another perspective mm-hmm. because they're translations and mm-hmm. these are all things that we can apply to our own beings. Mm-hmm. Um, in the way that we see fit. So um, for people who may be new to us, um, I'm Heather. I'm Charlie. Hi. (laughs) And um, so Charlie and I became friends and we were bored and we wanted to start a podcast. So here we are. Here we are. Yeah. And we've had over 200 episodes. uh It's been over a year and a half. And and we just love bringing tools, uh, useful tools for you to use in your daily lives and in your businesses, because these tools are overarching life skills tools, and it really helps you to balance a balance yeah not it's take, one of those so things negatively. that we always seek right mm-hmm. um especially as women is finding that work-life balance and we don't do things the traditional um masculine way we tend to do things our own ways mm-hmm. and how do we balance that and this is this is these tools do that and we love um, talking about all things mindset. Mm-hmm. So in addition to this book, we're also digging in. We got several books that we're going to read this year. Um, we checked out like how many chapters there are. So it's one chapter a week. Mm-hmm. So this book is already pretty heavy, y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you're ready to dive in. Um, so we love to do a mindset book and um, talk about all things that have to do with mindset. Because when we change our mindset, our world changes. Personal growth. And it's consistent, right? It so we got to, you got to stay consistent working on the things you got to keep, keep up. So our um, mindset book to start off this year is Louise Hayes. You can feel your life. I guess and I like just Heather said, did only show super, it. <laughs> super heavy. I'm excited. Yeah. It's, we're not, we're not mincing around. We're not messing around. We're mm-hmm. taking 2023 by the horns and we're running with it. So we're going to start with um, the secret power of yoga, and we're going to come talk about what's going on in this chapter. Oh, and if you would like to pick up your own copy, that's great. If you would like to follow along as we read it together, uh, I post the readings on Sundays. So um, head over to the YouTube channel. Do the things. Okay. Uh, chapter one is about humble beginnings. With humility and an open heart mind, we embrace the sacred study of yoga.
This simple beginning holds many truths. Often this very first sutra is read quickly or even disregarded, which is unfortunate since the sutra is placed first and to set the tone. It is here to remind us that our study and spiritual path benefit most when they are paved generously with humility. Mm. You can't be open-minded if you're not humble enough to see that maybe your perspective isn't the only one right and as we learned when we were talking about the four agreements and the sutras and stuff we learned that you know everybody has their own life experience and how they see the world is colored by their personal experience and so if we were to judge them based on their personal experience, there's there's no judgment. They've had a different experience than we have. You know, judging them for that doesn't do anybody any good. Right. So. Yes. Um, in developing an open heart mind, you know, it talks about just opening up that perspective and that um, sense of being just you know really getting to the core of the that humble piece that humbleness here and it's got a, a nice little quote from buddha what you are is what you have been what you will be is what you do now hmm. that's a great one to start off the year with what you are is what you have been what you will be is what you do now so if you're setting goals and resolutions or anything, if you want to make a change mm-hmm. any time of the year, Habits. whatever you want, you want to call them, what you're doing now is what you will be. Mm. Wow. Talk about taking our power back, right? Right. You have that responsibility for yourself. Um. It talks about how the three gaunas or aspects of nature are the teachers of humility. Okay. When we think about the ocean, Mm -hmm. the mountains, the trees, these are strong, steadfast, steady things, but they're humble. They just are what they are. They just are. That's why you, when you go sit in nature, you're just, you become calm Mm -hmm. right like eventually like eventually you just are with nature and energetically it's the same energy yeah so yeah it's pretty wow it's pretty cool okay we're ready to go over here Mm -hmm. to see what (laughs) we have a practice that we're going to end today's podcast with here in the um path of the yoga sutras but I want to talk a little bit about this book because we were talking about what to talk about in this first chapter. And for those of you who can't see, Louise Hayes, You Can Heal Your Life is the book that we're going to be doing. <laughs> but it's showing it and I'm like, they can't, oh, not all, everybody can see. You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, y'all. Right. So this first chapter is super heavy. So we thought we would back up a little bit and we would talk about some of the points of the philosophy of this book. Right. So Louise Hay um, has some points of her philosophy. And the first one is we are each responsible for all of our experiences. I feel like these are like big booms, right? Right. Every one of us Mm -hmm. are responsible for our own experiences. Yes. So that's that's that not taking anything. This is like our four agreements in a different way. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Every thought we think is creating our future. Mm. You know, that's that, uh, you know, when we talk about mindset and how we talk to ourselves and being impeccable with our word. Ooh, so right? important to us. Every thought we think is creating our future. I'm holding the heart here. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Want to read the next one? The point of power is always in the present moment. So again, just like the quote from Buddha, right? Uh-huh. We are what we are what we have been. Uh-huh. What we will be is what we do now. So that's that that same philosophy, right? Yeah. 
the point of power is always in the present moment. That's why they're always telling you to be in the now. Be in the now. Enjoy this moment right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Everyone suffers from self-hatred and guilt. Ooh. Everyone. 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 Oh and my gosh. That, again, that goes back to how you talk about yourself. Right. What do you believe about yourself? Why do you believe these things about yourself? What was said to you as a child that created the implant? Mm -hmm. What was the story that you were born into? It's all connected. Mm. Wow. Wow. The bottom line for everyone is I am not good enough. We talk about. We talk about this a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, you know, that feeling of enoughness. And where does that come from? It's only a thought and a thought can be changed. It's only a thought and a thought can be changed. Everything we perceive is a thought. Right. A thought. It just made me think of... Um, like banking issues and I'm always so stressed out about it and today I worked through something on my own on without own. like and it came to a solution without any stress I was like I love the mindset shift I'm t I've been working on like mm -hmm. this is so peaceful because it doesn't have to be stressful because no. I get to choose you get to choose it's so cool it. Okay, we create every so-called illness in our body. That's heavy. Yeah. Resentment, criticism, and guilt are the most damaging patterns. Okay, the fact that it's a pattern. Isn't that scary? Yeah. Like, if you think about, like, we we teach it, like, this is, you know, someone, like, the song, like, bury the hatchet and leave mm -hmm. the handle sticking out. Like, mm -hmm. we teach that you're going to pull that hatchet back out and let that all, like, we're just going to cycle it over and over and over again. Yeah. Because that's what our culture story is. And it's horrible. <laughs> like, we, I'm excited that it's it's being called out as a pattern mm -hmm. that we can because you can break patterns you can break patterns releasing resentment will dissolve even cancer I mean, there's different kinds of cancer there's emotional cancer mm -hmm. there's yeah yeah dude dude we must release the past and forgive everyone mm -hmm. release the past release the past because if you keep trying to live there, you're going to keep trying to repeat those same patterns. Okay. Yeah. And I feel like that's a really great topic to talk about on this um, first Mindset Monday of the year. Right. Um, is releasing the past and forgiving everyone. Whew. Release the past. It's not going to happen again. It doesn't have to happen again. You don't have to hold on to it. Right. Let it go. I love that this can be a practice and I love that there are people out there. We know people that work specifically with mm -hmm. forgiveness. So mm -hmm. if this is something you're really struggling with and you want help, let us know. We'll hook you up. Yep. All right. We must be willing to begin to learn to love ourselves. Mm -hmm. That willingness. I feel like this is something we've been working on for over a year now. This is willingness to I remember learn not learn. being willing to learn to love myself. I remember that. Because the guilt and shame is so yeah. strong. Yeah. I yeah. remember that feeling. Because you feel like you're not enough, like you're unworthy Ever. of yeah. that. Yeah. Wow, you can really make a difference, you guys. <laughs> it's a little bit. Self-approval and self-acceptance in the now are the keys to positive changes. And um well, and in the now <laughs> in the now right self-approval and self-acceptance in the now are keys to positive changes we that's like being impeccable with our word yeah that's um not taking things personally, personally even to ourselves right yeah. 
Um, I had a really We're rough, always doing our best. We don't do that guilt shame thing. A few days back, and I, I, in the past, I would have taken it personally that I was feeling so grumpy, mm -hmm. and people around me would have taken it personally that I was grumpy. But there was this allowing for the grace of mm -hmm. what I was going through mm -hmm. from both of us. Like, okay, mm -hmm. we see this is happening. We don't have to get stuck in it. Mm -hmm. We can keep moving forward. And what did I tell you to do? Go breathe. drink some water, breathe, <laughs> and take a break yeah. for a minute. Yeah. Right. Right. I was like, ooh. <laughs> I'm having You're a moment. on it. You're having a moment. <laughs> I'm having a moment. But, but you didn't have to pick it up. No, there was freedom in me not taking that personally right. and being like, you need to go take care of yourself. And I had so much grace for okay. myself for like just being aware of what I was going through in that moment like yeah it was it's just it's life-changing mm -hmm. because then I didn't get stuck and then I didn't mm -hmm. get into the vicious circle and then there didn't get into the blame game or and then when you're judgment working... or self-judgment there was no negative self-talk it was just like this is happening and mm -hmm. it's gonna be okay and we <laughs> just gotta go through and it. with us working together as we do and us working on these things together I was able to not take your attitude personally, okay, but, right. you know, and yeah. not bring that on. And then I almost started crying because of the freedom, you, because it's not about you. It was about whatever these things happening, right? Like they're right. not like life, life being, and it had nothing to do with anything. I just, yeah, yeah. it's a battle. Depression is a real life, like, yeah. and you don't have, it doesn't have to stay dark always. No. So thanks for being with me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. When we really love ourselves, everything in our life <laughs> couldn't end on a better note there after that right. story, right? Excellent. Oh, so this whole chapter really talks about yourself and um forgiving yourself and um recreating having, having the power. You have the power to you have the choices you get to make the decisions how you react to something is a choice that you make you get to decide you have control who you are you get to decide what that looks like do you want to be the person that flies off the handle and goes into a road rage or do you want to be the person that is like bye-bye <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing wrong with me I don't know what's wrong with you okay <laughs> um and I really um, between the two of these, they really remind you that we are of spirit mm -hmm. and we chose to be here. Mm -hmm. There was a power in the choice to be here. So we wouldn't have chose this unless we knew this is, this is, a, there's a plan here. There's an opportunity for growth and learning. Mm -hmm. And, um, right now, um, just the fact that Charlie and I are able to talk to you and be on video to have our hair shown, to wear a little bit of makeup. These are all privileges for women mm -hmm. that are fairly new mm -hmm. in the scheme of things. And I really am grateful that we can do that. So I don't know where I was going with that, but <laughs> I, I, think, I think what you mean to say is that we get to show up as our true authentic selves every day yes because we choose to yes and you can choose to also um there's a sense of power and confidence that we have now that we didn't have before because we've been working on ourselves yeah and, and how that has affected us is how we interact with other people yeah when we have a consultation with a client a lot of that is you know helping them get out of their own head right about whatever they're stuck on in in their head so that we can help them set like a plan who decided forward. that it had to be that way and now you're fighting it like who decided that we had oh we, you did what does what could you decide differently if that's not working anymore like right. just like opening up that that realm of 
thinking, mm -hmm. right? That you can choose to do it differently. If you right. Want. Right. And we actually had a, a talk with um, someone last week who was struggling to post the things that she wanted to post on social media because she was worried about what other people thought. And it's, like she literally is not sharing a part of her heart and soul because she's afraid of what other she's people do, she doesn't want to offend other people with what she's doing and like it's, it's not up to the she, other people she was a little offended by our response <laughs> we were like what no that's like a big part of you and you deserve to share who you are authentically mm -hmm. like you want to be comfortable it's okay to be who you but are but taking on that judgment that other people might take offense to it is that prejudging ourselves you know she felt like it wasn't worthy or that it, I it. guess it goes <laughs> back to everyone feels everyone feels I'm not good enough yeah right yeah but <laughs> truth is you are you are good enough and the more that's the way you are you that's the that. way you are I know I was terrified the first time somebody told me you're already enough I was like, you're crazy. <laughs> right? Yeah, but it stuck with me, right? Because mm -hmm. it was somebody I really trusted. And mm -hmm. looked at me, she was like, Heather, you're already enough. And I was like. And sometimes we just have what? to hear that from the right person in the right way. That we are perfect. Just the way we are. Right. Just the way we're we are. We're already wonderful people. We're mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. We are already. Boom. Cool. All right. So I encourage you to head over to the YouTube channel, listen to Charlie um, reading all of these. Um, did you want to read that? I do. I want to read the. Um, that, okay. Did you want to read I that? I do want to read both. I was like, things. I think you want to read. So both. here in You Can hear, Heal Your Life. Okay. Let's take a couple deep breaths. Sink in your chair, relax your shoulders. If you are driving, do not close your eyes. You can close your eyes if you want to. <laughs> but if you're driving, please keep your eyes on the road. We um, love you. Please stay safe. So I'm going to read this this passage in 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 the You Can Heal Your Life, and then I'm going to move on to the practice at the end of Chapter One in Secret Power of Your Self. Okay. In the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole and complete, and yet life is ever-changing. Mm. There is no beginning and no end, only a constant cycling and recycling of substance and experiences. Life is never stuck or static or stale, for each moment is ever new and fresh. I am one with the very power that created me, and this power has given me the power to create my own circumstances. I rejoice in the knowledge that I have the power of my own mind to use it in any way I choose. Every moment of life is a new beginning point as we move from the old. This moment is a new point of beginning for me right here, right now. All is well with my world. Love it. The power of choice and decide in this moment you choose. Love what a blessing to start the new year this way. Charlie's going to move into the secret, secret path power. of yoga, secret power of yoga. And with a humility and open heart and mind, we embrace the sacred study of yoga. Experiencing the divine with sit quietly. You can light a candle if you wish. Begin to make a mental note of your daily activities. How much of your day do you spend on simple repetitive chores that do not feel immediately rewarding? Do you sometimes feel they are a waste of time? 
Begin by focusing on one of these activities, such as making the bed each morning. How can that be transformed into a spiritual practice? How can you savor the smooth feeling of the linens? Can you have fun plumping the pillows? Put in some happy vibrations and feelings so that when you get into bed at night, you will have happy dreams and a deep sleep. Next, you might turn to the routine of checking voicemail, answering calls, filing papers, paying bills, washing dishes, or picking up your children from school. Notice how each aspect of your life can be inwardly transformed to bring you to a place of presence and joy. There, we recognize that the divine is omnipresent. With humility, an open heart and mind, we embrace the sacred study of yoga. Seeing the joy in the little things, choosing and deciding, and choosing to have the ability, choosing. Choosing to decide. Choosing to decide. Yes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I like it. It got choosing mingled up decide. there. <laughs> yeah. Choosing to decide as we move forward in 2023. And I hope you join us for the whole year. We love you. And we'll see you next time. Namaste. Namaste. Don't forget to stay tuned for our Cause, Cause of the, the Quarter. quarter. And now networking. We help these young women transition from high school into college. And ours is a unique program because we are helping them each year of college so they get that bachelor's degree or go into their chosen career. And so that mentorship goes on through college and actually after college because what we have is we have two phases in our program. And that first one is getting them through high school to college, to their career. And once they're in their career, they're now member forever with a free membership. And we have mentors in place, business coaches that help them to learn the essential skills to run an effective business. And so the mentoring goes on, the relationship goes on, and I'm sure that they will eventually also be mentors to the new kids coming into our program. Thank you for joining in on the fun. Be sure to like and subscribe for more.